In this video, we'll see how we can able to download the data model for Mycom Snyder Micro Relay that you see in the notepad file. So let's take an example of um, P442 Relay model. So I can able to understand the this firmer version, that's um, E3, that belong to Snyder. So we can actually um, search from Google the Snyder P442 Relay manual. So I can able to go to the first link and it's recommended to download the or use the latest um, manual. So in this case, you can able to see the hardware version is M and we're, we're going to use uh, as a reference this one, but this is not an actual manual for the model number, but you can able to find the, the latest um, version model in the Snyder web page. So this manual we will use as a reference. So let's expand the table of contents and go to the introduction, product scope. There we can able to find the order option. So this is for 442 and here, here we can able to understand the, the different um, order option that you can able to easily relate. For example, this is a distance protection ID, P stands for protection and 4 stands for the type of application. It's a distance protection relay and next one is the 40 series platform and 2 is the how many different applications that we can able to have for the distance and the case. Also here we can able to see um, the third one. It's about the uh, auxiliary SCDC to power up the relay. And third one is, uh, and the next one is stands for the nominal CT and VT um, ratio in the backside of the ID that we want to connect and further you can actually use the latest reference manual to find out the right information. So in our case, we're going to download the, the firmware. That's um, E3, how we can able to find out. So here we can able to see the M is for mounting. So in the middle, um, next is a zero. That's about the language order option. So we always use um, the English, French, German, Spanish as the default uh, language order option. And further, we can able to see the software reference. That's about uh, the E3, the software reference. And next one is um, the 8. That's a standard version um, for the setting and PSL uh, application. In case if the customer order with a, a dedicated um, applications, so this can be uh, customized with a different um, order number other than 8. A standard version has um, maximum benefits, but if the customer um, specifically order with a different application, this will be um, customized um, during the, the the firmware programming of the P40 Micron platform IDs. So this can be customized using the, the proprietary um, programming tool. So let's, and the last one is the hardware suffix and most importantly, the, the communication module that's about uh, the application the protocol support six that stands for the IU 600 communication and for other inputs and outputs you can also understand with the latest um, manual reference tool. it's also important to understand the latest manual reference so here you can able to see the hardware version is j and k from, so in our case, the hardware suffix is M. So you need to use the latest version um, manual in order to use the other other information like the input and outputs and many other information to understand the other code in, in proper way. So to download the data model, we need to use the data model manager from Usage Studio, the data model manager, together installed with the um, Usage Studio latest version that we install. 
So in order to download the data model for a specific ID type from ICOM, we need to connect our um, ESRG Studio or Data Model Manager install PC to the internet, and we should have the good internet speed on our PC. We can able to proceed with default setting, um, add, and then we need to use internet in case if you would like to download over internet. So it will connect to the Snyder server where we can able to choose the right ID model on the platform. So it lists out the different um, available um, MyCom platform IDs like 10 series, 20 series, 30 series, 40 series data models. So once it lists out all the supported series for different platforms, you can able to see this particular window. You can able to choose English as a global language and go next. There you can able to see the different um, platforms. There you can able to expand the, the 40 platforms. So in our case, we are gonna download the data model for P442. So it comes under the 40 platform series. And here we can able to see the P442 and further expanding it. There are so many software versions um, that has been released to the market for this type of ID. And what we exactly need is E3. So we can able to see the model number. So here is E3, which is uh, the firmware version that we need to download. So we can able to choose E3 here and then install. And it will download first. Then it will also install. In the back end. This also we can able to understand easily meantime. If we go to the order option, there we can able to see the the software version. Next to the the language, the zero and we are seeing E3. That's for the the software reference, the major version. And setting Y denotes the next digit. The, the standard version, but it's recommended to see the right manual version. And it's also downloading the default uh, template files for setting PSL and the ICD file, which is a template file which need to be used to engineer the 650 um, compatible ID. So. So many other um, default templates like menu text, measurement information that we can able to read online. The default template files are almost Going to download and the download has been completed. It's ready for use and locally also deployed. So we can say OK here. And then we can able to close the, the window here, then minimize and open the usage e studio from the start menu or from the shortcut that you have in your desktop. So it's recommended to use the latest version of usage e studio. In my case, I have the latest version. At the moment, version 9.3.3. You can also refer, there is another video, how you can able to download the latest version and, and use it in the same playlist. We can able to create a new project and can also use existing project as per your wish. So I will open one of the existing project. To 
to make sure that the data model has been installed properly and now we can able to understand the, the model number compatibility for the setting in PSL. So we can able to choose P40 series and we have downloaded P442 and our model number is P442 31Q P6 M0 E3 So E3 is our the firmware version or our relay and next is 8 and in case if you have another um, more digit other than 8 you can able to put for example 0 and it should be able to see the compatibility here so in case if you are providing some number as a digit here in the model number and you don't see the suitable model number here then that means you need to check with uh, the the relay manufacturer to load the right file if you are able to see the other option from the label um, as a standardized um, product for example in this case standard version is 8 and if you are seeing some other version and and the compatible um, model number should be available here this is uh, the main point if you are able to see it here then you are good to go for example in case if you are choosing 8 and next is m it's our hardware suffix and you should be able to see the differences even if you choose 0 and there is no major difference here in the the default file so that's that's completely fine only the application may differ and sometimes that we need to verify with the manufacturer for the the customized um, order option for the, the application for example here i will put eight in this case and i will choose the addition two and you can also create as a template for example if you are using and let me go to the psl directly by right clicking it and then they can able to open new that i can able to open the the default template so here i can able to see the, the compatible psl file that means the psl has been already created for the model number that we define so that means here you could able to see the e3 as a, the firmware and the, the type of template also suitable for eight and if you put zero and then if you are able to open it then you are good to go to write to the id that's the whole point you can also check the compatibility from the file menu there you can go to the default scheme the programmable scheme logic and there you can also able to understand by choosing the right device type and there you can able to go further as an advanced option and you can able to put the, the customized application as a zero here and then the model number so the hardware suffix and you should be able to see the compatible psl file by customizing your hardware um, option so here you can able to see it basically here you can able to see in the down next to the left left side of the group one psl and the model number should be um, possible that you are able to see in the ideal hmi this is all point similarly for setting file as well in case if you need support you can further contact the technical support from snyder they will be happy to support you thank you take care bye